exercising demons? What kind of a demon <laughs> would be exercised for you in that place tomorrow night? Well, if I can walk out of there and not owe the ACC any money, that is a huge <laughs> win. And uh, Suzanne was teasing me about it last night. I can guarantee you I will mentally put myself in a trance, you know, uh, two minutes before the game. Shut up and don't get involved with the officials. But, uh, you know, that was crazy. Uh, and it was a heck of a game. Right. You know, it was, we, you know it's... I did tell our guys who were watching a little film, I said, fellas, we haven't won there. Ever. I, I, ever. I said, I, I don't care about bracketology or double buy. We, we never won in Tallahassee. We played our butts off a couple times. How about we try and get one in Tallahassee? So that's kind of been our message you know, this week. A little different Florida State team. A little well. different, yeah. Yeah, still got, still has the, you know, their length and their switching stuff. and uh, But, you know, their injuries, We've all rotated through that seat. The injuries have knocked them back. I think they may get another guy back or two for tomorrow. Um, but, you know, switching, length, you can't really run offense. you got to just be a basketball player because they switch everything. And then the last time we played, and I'm going to tell our guys this, you know, today when we prepare here in 20 minutes, the last time we played, we, we didn't do a very good job of keeping Wake out of the lane and off the back door. And when we've done that, especially on the road, we've gotten off to good starts. And they're very similar to weight, body types, driving you up on the backboard, athletic. So, um, you know, we've been able to, when we've taken care of the ball against them, we've been able to move it and get good looks. We've made shots sometimes. And, but it's going to be a seven-foot guy switched on Blake Wesley and Prentice Hub early in the possession. And, how do we read it? Do we drive it? Do we feed the post? That type of thing. You could lose it, or if North Carolina would have won last or lost last time, uh -huh. you would have been number two. Yeah. Is this a group that would rather not quote back into the second place spot or whatever? Yeah. Let's just say, hey, let's let's go take care of business and earn second place in the league. Or yeah. Going to wind up. Right. I, I and I think there's and, and I've tried to keep hope alive of sharing the regular season title. You know, if you, if you if if they drop one. And we win two, you know, uh, obviously Duke gets the one seed in Brooklyn, but you get a trophy. And, and, and so I think they, I've kind of kept that alive, and which is realistic the way, you know, the league is this year in college basketball to keep that alive for them. And it's kind of kept us in the day-to-day, week-to-week. It's a nice place to be, though, I think. Like, the, are you going to make it or you're not? That question's sort of an answer. You're finding different yeah. numbers to pull out? Yeah, yeah, I think, I think you have to really look at uh, – no question. I mean, you know, um, even if we were on the bubble, you try not to talk about it too much because you don't want guys tight. And not to say we're a lock yet, but we've got a hell of a resume. And, and uh, um, but yeah, I think that keeps you. It keeps you kind of in the week to week. And, and I've just said, hey, we've never won in Tallahassee. Period. Let's just stop with what it means on everything else. Let's see if we can win one in Tallahassee. I thought the interesting stat in the game notes was. And we've been an example of this. It's the highest percentage of road teams winning since 1987. In the league? In the league. 54% of home teams, it, just, it was a league note I just glanced at, because it feels that way. Mm -hmm. But 1987 was the last time road teams were this good or home teams were this bad. Was it, 